Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to open a six star crystal and I am very excited because this is going to be my 10th six star and uh, we are going to pop this crystal right away and hope, fingers crossed for the best and we are going to hope for a very powerful champ and let's see who that is. We are also going to rank him up and then take him or her right into game play against the Winter Soldier and see what he can do against a Realm of Legends. So here we go, six star, and we should tap it out right about here. And let's see what we get. Namor would have been fantastic. And here we go. Six star, Nick Frickin' Fury. There you go, guys. That is what I'm talking about. I have him as a five-star awakened rank four, but a six-star? Come on. Imagine the damage this dude is going to unleash on this game playing. Not only is he going to be a six-star, we're going to be looking to see what resources we have to rank him up right away. We're going to take him to rank one. And uh, let's just look at the roster right here now. Six stars. And let's see where he falls. He's right there in number 10 spot. We're going to rank him up right away. Uh, let's see what he can do in the gameplay. I'm going to just snapshot that screen to save for future use. And uh, let's see. He has He's an offensive damage over time. As attributes, critical rating, 31.6%. Critical damage, 186, which is pretty high. Armor 17.4 and block proficiency 64.6. Not too bad, but as we all know with Nick Fury, he's very, very good uh, as the life size decoy. Uh, so, what we, the life model decoy is what they call it. So, he's not awakened, obviously. Uh, the five star is awakened, but I could now use Nick Fury in questing, uh, in war. Uh, and not worry, I still have a Nick Fury for each one, a five and a six star. So that's pretty handy. And of course, we know his synergies. We're going to go into this in more detail when we take him into the gameplay. Let's, um, we know the Extreme Conditions kit is one of the most important things for him. Uh, not really, because I think the most important one is the one where he heals after the bleed and stuff like that. The Restoration kit, I, I prefer. And again, that Fury buff with um, Captain Marvel. So pretty much all fantastic synergies with this guy. Tons of champions to put on a team with him. And again, he also has 10% attack rating and the boost is doubled 20% attack rating if Nick Fury dies first. So the strategy is to take him in to all the fights take out as much and do as much damage as possible in a quest before he dies and then all of the other champion has 20%. That's one theory, one strategy uh, if you don't want to use um, class advantage in some of the fights. And of course, I'm just going to flash through here this six star, what his abilities are. We're going to take a quick flash maybe to the five star, see what he, the differences are. But yeah, this is the next important thing to pay attention to, his um, charges and plus five, uh, Nick can't miss or evade uh, or be evaded. So he's fantastic against evade jumps, plus 10, he purifies buffs, plus 15, he becomes unblockable and plus 20 is when all his tact tactical charges are used and um, he gets that aggression. Um, but we'll take a look at it again in a second. Let's get to ranking up this dude. He's 17,000 health right now. So let's just throw in some, uh, some uh, ISO on him and see if we could link, um, rank him up uh, to full potential here. Well, at least rank one. I don't have the uh, ability to take him to rank two yet, but we will take a look also at what I have in inventory to do that at some later date in the future. Let me just swipe that off the screen. Okay, so level tw um, 25 coming up. He's already at 8614. 
Let's see. This last set of stones should do it. And he just is missing one small amount, 9203. Come on, man. He's got to be at least my second or third, maybe fourth um, highest ranked champion right now. Or oh. power index. That is. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these uh, some, um, smaller ISO to, to rank him up. And this is going to be brutal, man. I'm telling you. It's going to be so much more fun with him on the team as a six star. Now, I pretty much have some pretty good six stars, but this is what I need to rank him up. Um, that basic, um, that, that tier five basic catalyst, I have one. I'm almost close to completing two. So that shouldn't take too long. Um, within the next month, uh, we should be able to mine enough to take this guy to rank two if I need, need him at rank two. I'm thinking rank two or just take my rank four, five star to uh, rank five, which would be the same as ranking him up, but he will he's going to be awakened and a little bit more powerful, I would think. Uh, but let's see, let's see. With 10 star, with 10 six stars, the odds now of duplicating one of those six stars is a little bit better. And um, we could take him into the, into the fight. So let's see. All the heroes get 10% rating. We have, um, uh, if Nick is alive, uh, the restoration kit uh, kicks in. If it's bleed, poison, or shock, he drops the kit and we get regeneration 10% of the health for three seconds. So that's pretty cool. We have um, Daisy, uh, Quake on the team, and again, if Nick is alive, the first three hits thrown today will have a 100% chance to be evaded, which is pretty cool. And again, very nice synergies with very powerful champs. Um, Ant-Man is pretty good, uh, but again, with Wasp, and um, uh, he's even much better. And um, let's see here. We have some other champions in here. And again, any one of these, Iron Man, Infinity War is a great um, combination for this as well. I personally like Punisher 2099 just because he is able to uh, to prevent you or from having an uh, SP3. Uh, that is pretty cool and is very, very, um, very, very good with um, 2099 uh, Punisher. Again, all of the champions have very, very good synergy with Nick Fury. And um, let's just get into the... Uh, the gameplay I think I think everyone wants to get into the gameplay now so let's just take one more look at his attributes and in detail see what he does and then we're gonna take him into the gameplay so we know he's offensive we know his critical rating uh, percentages are 31.6 we know his critical damage is 186 we know his armor rating and his block proficiency 17 and 64 percent He's offensive damage over time, and he's also defensive, so you could use him as offensive or defensive. He's pretty annoying on defense on certain nodes on uh, Alliance War. Uh, so, that always helps. Uh, Battle Stars, he's not, he doesn't have the life model decoy in this. This five star would have it, but he has Battle star Scars. Uh, opponents generation buffs and egg bleeds are 100% more potent uh, and then a combo with light gives him a 100% chance to inflict bleed landing a medium it's bleed and landing heavy is bleed so pretty much every friggin thing this guy hits you with is going to cause you some damage not to mention damage over time bleed basic attacks uh, Hitting uh, into auto block, Nick is stun immune and has a hundred percent chance to inflict a bleed, dealing damage over twelve seconds. X amount of damage, so that is very good to be um, when you're fighting someone like Iron Man, Infinity War, or Medusa with the auto blocks. Uh, pretty devastating. Again, um, the five star Nick Fury when he has, I believe it's seven. Uh, so this one has eight stacks. If the opponent gets eight stacks of bleed, the bleed effects are removed and replaced with a passive internal bleed. 
So that's a little bit different with this six star because I believe the five star is seven stacks when that turns into an internal bleed. So we have to go to eight stacks for this one to, to, to take effect. Um, ta tactical advantages. Nick starts the fight with six charges when fighting an Avenger. So anytime he's up against an Avenger, you already have six charges and that makes him pretty much uh, kind of debate him. So that's pretty fr friggin' good when it comes to fighting Spider-Man. When Nick is struck and has a 100% chance to gain a tact tactical charge, uh, while Nick is under the effect of Fury effects, tactical, ta tactical charges durations are paused. And then at five, Nick attacks cannot miss or evade. At 10, Nick's purify effects now target all debuffs. And at 15 plus, Nick becomes unblockable. Now there's also 20 which you could go to and you, you put that fury effect uh, in effect where he does a ton more damage. But I'm thinking just being unblockable. So I think the sweet spot is to just keep him over 15 and 20 tactical charges. Just keep him between there. And um, it takes a little bit of skill set to keep him in that sweet spot. At 20 charges, all charges are removed and replaced with Fury's Fury buff, which grants 3,200 attack rating for 10 seconds. All tactical charges gained are doubled while Fury's Fury is active. So again, you could go plus 20, but um, I haven't even had an opportunity with this guy in longer fights. I'm thinking it's more effective, but for the fights that we've been um, handling so far, I think between 15 and 20, just keeping him in that sweet spot to be unblockable makes him very devastating. But we're going to push him to 20 charges plus in the game play and see how that works out. Of course, his SP1. Uh, when performing this attack, Nick immediately gains four tactical charges. So you could keep spamming, spamming that SP1 to build tactical charges, which is fast to get him up to that 10 plus, 15 plus to make him unblockable. Uh, Nick slashes his opponents, causing four stacks of bleed. Um, so you want to rank up that bleed, drop that SP1. And 50% chance to stun the opponent for three seconds. I find that very handy when you fire up that SP2 to stun the opponent. And you could lay waste or land some heavies and stacks of even more impressive bleeds on the opponent. And we're going to see that on the gameplay as well. So let's just take him into Realm of Legends. And we're going to bring in uh, the team with Quake, uh, with Deadpool, with 2099, and Captain Marvel. And let's get into the gameplay. And we'll finish off this video. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget, we want to just land some um, quick blocks here, parries obviously, and rank up that bleed with heavy attacks. There you go, a little light um, attack in between there, we're just going to hit them, light attacks, we're going to parry and land some more bleeds on this guy. Again, four tactical charges with the SP-1. So every time you land at SP1, you have that four tactical charges. You land a second one here, you see he's up to seven. So now he's pretty much on, um, uh, no one can evade him right now because he's over that six. Here you go. I believe it's over five, sorry. Over five, they can't evade. Here you go. Our next SP1, we're gonna take some hits just to see his durability again in this match. We don't need to take the hits, but let's just see what he can do. He's already at 15, so he's unblockable. Everything is gonna land and hit now. He's back down to 14, but an SP1 is going to bring him over that um, four more tactical to 18. So pay attention to the tactical charges and everything is unblo uh, unblockable right here. So any SP1s landed or SP2 or any uh, SPs 1 and 2 landed or even regular hits while he's unblockable is going to land and do damage. And again, this is the life model decoy. He's not awakened, so the real Nick Fury and those benefits are not even involved. 
as you can see we could really lay waste to uh, winter soldier or most any imp blade uh, of one just parry and put those internal bleeds on you're gonna build those tactical charges again and here we go gonna fire it off and right now we're just having fun in the match it's no problems at all we over six ta tactical charges we get to next um, four with this sp1 we're gonna land those blades again boom fire it off regardless the missing or not as you can see we get that tactical charge to get him over um, those four extra tactical charges okay when we take hits we get tactical charges so that's one way to get it as well and again you want to take hits with him sometimes a lot of people's gameplay is to get him to the uh, second stage by killing off the life model decoy and going into the real nick fury where you get back 100 percent health and he starts deteriorating but doing damage so he's up to 16 which means he's unblockable as you can see the little icon under his 51 percent here that little um, purplish icon and here we go 18 tactical charges if we fire up that sp1 he's gonna go over we're gonna just stay being unblockable again it's all used up he gets that fury where he gets 3500 extra attack bonus here now boom and he's just laying waste to him with the attack bonus as you can see the sp2 did the stun and you're able to apply some more bleeds to this guy oh yeah and he is so smooth to play man this is really a character that shield helps take a lot of damage as well absolutely no impact the damage here boom i know we had 32 percent but that's only because we try we, we, we're trying to test him out with all different scenarios here it's not perfect gameplay and uh here we go okay let's do some damage with that sp1 he's gonna get that four extra tactical charges boom 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 And this is just constant bleed on the opponent. I'm telling you, constantly bleeding the opponent. So Nick Fury on your team is going to be an absolute beast. Here we go. Now should we finish him off with an SP? There we go. Absolutely no damage when he's holding that shield up so far. So it's pretty good block proficiency. And here we go. And there you have it guys. Let's see how many hits. It's gonna be an extreme amount of hits because those bullets and the gunplay, it's gonna be exaggerated. As you can see, 311 hits, but that's because of that um, gunplay, all those hits that uh, occur. We receive 25 hits, no problem there. And again, this is just the first phase. Even if he dies off, he's still at 100%. And then he starts deteriorating. Uh, so let's just exit out of this. And let's just take a look at the key points again before we close up this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, uh, like, share the video. Um, make sure you hit the notification bell and um, set it to all so that you get email um, notifications the next time we put out a um, video on this channel and again thanks for subscribing and watching uh, those are the 10 champions i have right now in play memphisto is ranked two uh, that's why he's so high up on this list um, and i needed him as a rank two because he was devastating as a rank one but he also has that ability to soul in prison at the start of the fight but this is what i'm going to look at at nick fury plus five charges plus 10 charges plus 15 charges plus 20 charges that's what you need to pay attention to with nick fury hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you next time remember to work less play more and enjoy life bye guys